सो हाई गाइस वी आर गोइंग लाइव टूडे एज आई एव ऑलरेडी अनाउंस दैट वी विल बी गोइंग लाइव विद वन ऑफ माई पास पेशेंट मिस्टर लक्ष्य ठाकर सो आई एल वेट फॉर मोर पीपल टू ज्वाइन इन आई डोंट नो वेदर इट्स लाइव और नॉट Hi Lakshay I can see you Yeah we have more people joining in So yes hi everyone what uh, we had planned today is an insta live session with one of our past patient Mr Lakshay So he has had his rhinoplasty done with us and a lot of people have apprehensions about uh the surgery mr vikas so let's discuss with uh, one of the patient who has had the surgery with us how has been his experience and mind you he had hi lakshay how are you hey doc uh feeling good yeah i'm doing good how are you doing yeah i'm do- i'm doing great I, i i started like working on other things like haircuts and stuff and yeah i'm feeling great <laughs> <laughs> so uh we'll wait for people to join in today is sunday everybody is busy let's see how many people join us for yeah, this sure. session today so uh it has been a lazy lazy sunday so guys uh today we have mr lakshay thakran with us he he did his redo rhinoplasty with us around a month back lakshay we did it a one month back Yeah yeah uh, I had to go for the second procedure cuz the first one didn't really uh did what I was looking for so we uh, went again and we yeah, it was we did the we do the first one was done somewhere else uh when when did we do do your surgery around a month back yeah yeah okay so uh a lot of people are apprehensive before rhinoplasty is no job because they have they have heard all the horror stories that people get it done it looks fake so here is mr lakshay in front of you he is not looking at all fake his nose nose looks very looks very natural of course he has some swelling on the tip and the swelling will reduce further over a period of time so lakshay if you can tell our audience uh what issues you had with your nose and why did you go- wanted to go for a rhinoplasty in the first place well i had a deviated septum so when i was a child i got uh, hit on the nose once and it kind of grew in that way so it uh, was bent to a degree and it was such that uh, it had an appearance as well and i think it uh, like it did result in me having like breathing problems which uh, ultimately i uh, want to get fixed so i went in a, uh, and got a procedure done in 2013 and it somewhat worked but uh, not to an extent i would want so that's why I was looking for other options, greater options, and that's how I found you. And yeah, I I would say uh, there's a lot of stigma around it. There's a lot of uh, like uh, rumors about it that it'll be painful or it will, you know, not look good or something like that. But uh, what I can say is it's like art. Oh, like I I would quote you, it's art. So if you if you've got a good artist, you you'll get a good painting. If you if you cut corners, you'll get cut corners. So Yeah, yeah. I, I feel I got uh, the treatment I wanted, and it was minimally. I, I wouldn't even wouldn't even call it minimal uh, compared to my first one, because as I've got it done twice, I would say I have a point of reference. So the first one I had to like uh, go under the knife the first time. I had to get those forms for a week, and it was not good. It like every time I would eat, you know, my nose would bleed, and uh, there were a lot of things i didn't like about it uh, what i really liked was uh, the staff at rose walk was really professional i mean you visited me uh, for two days i guess and it was all fine uh, i i i have like no problems with my nose at this point it's like completely natural and fine now uh, no problems breathing so yeah I'm... yeah and to tell you redo surgeries are always difficult but trust me redo rhinoplasties are all the more difficult everything is stuck the best uh, 
treatment a doctor can achieve is in the first session uh, or a virgin plane so uh, can you show us from your side views how your nose how it naturally looks yeah if you can just tell our audience that how much hump you had before and how much it was it was too high i i had a hump like this so yeah. uh, again it it kind of was bothering me uh, for some time also didn't look good uh, gave my nose a bigger appearance according to my face and yeah now it's just completely straight can you show uh, from the other side as well can you show yeah, yeah. looks really nice so you improving in fact i saw you two weeks back you were looking much better yeah. of course your tip has swelling and the swelling will keep on reducing over a period of time yeah, yeah so, no, i i can i i know the difference between like somebody got to for old do you have your old pick right now on your on your um, this thing let me see um, i can i can check out can you tell me the yeah. date for your surgery i'm i'm not quite sure i i guess it was on the 12th or the no no it was Ah, uh, I'm sorry. I'm not good with dates, but last month, right? We did you on on July, August, July. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I found your, I found your I found your picture. I found your picture. That will be great. Let Let me show you. I'll just switch uh, my switch the turn my camera on, and you see. So, guys, this is how he looked like, right? And this was. I hope you can see. how unnatural the hump was and how depressive there was a, above the tip supra tip depression this is how his pictures were and you can see from front how deviated it was lakshay can you see that it yeah, looks that, a huge that's one of the, that that was one of my main issues with that because the first surgery kind of looked fake and that's that's the reason i wanted to get another one to like get get the natural look i had like even before that and see from the side as well it looked thank you vikas for appreciating our work and see this is how it looked like and he had this some so lakshmi rook really nice of course the best thing is to come after an operation we can always tell that it keeps on improving up to one year now let's see A lot of people have apprehension about cosmetic surgeries, whether they should get it done or not, whether they should get it done from India or not. A lot of people have this apprehension. Can you just tell them about your experiences and your thoughts about it? Well, my thoughts about the matter is that first of all, India as a place has really great standards when it comes to anything. Uh, it's just that most of the people prefer to go and outsource their work to other countries. Uh, I would say with Doctor. Rajat, I've uh, come to other live sessions and I've seen like people from Africa getting their surgeries, or people from France. So you know, if people are coming here to get their uh, surgeries done, it means like you are in the hands of a professional. There's so much uh, he keeps up with you, like uh, even after post-op. You know, I can call him any time during the day, and he would give me advice. You see, um, I always insist that. each of my patient gets not only my number but my team members number my nurse my other plastic surgeons working with us everybody gets this is the least we can do as doctors that a patient who has got their surgery done from you can connect with you uh, any time of the day or night and this is very important because i always believe if someone is connecting with you trying to contact you they feel it's an emergency situation and if you are not there for them if you're not available for them It, it shouldn't be so. Um, I'm always there. You you have been you have been um, going through that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And about the question about the precautions, I would say I was just advised to like obviously not get it on the nose. I I guess that's a yeah, pretty normal one. For at least first yeah. three months, be extra cautious because yeah, that is important. Yeah, and about uh, normal day to day work, I I didn't have any problems. I I could do day uh, normal day to day work. Uh, I would. I was advised not to uh, do cardiovascular exercises, which is like running and stuff. So I, like, didn't do that for like a week or two. But after that, I was going back yeah. to do exercises and stuff. So, yeah, pretty so normal. My next question to you, my next question to you is, how did you decide to get your surgery done from us, or how do you advise someone else on how to decide um, to who to go for their cosmetic surgery? Well. 
I would always say just go and like keep a standard to yourself. I I wanted the best thing I could get done because uh, the first uh, thing was that I already got this procedure done, so I didn't want to go under the knife a third time for the same thing, and I didn't want any regrets. That that's what I uh, live in life with. Like I don't want any regrets. I want the best stuff done, uh, no matter what I have to do. So I came across Dr. Rajat when I uh, when my mother was recommended uh, him through uh, a friend who is also in the field. Uh, she's also uh, really good in what she does in dermatology, and she recommended Dr. Rajat. I I, I still had some skepticism. You know, th- there's always something going on in your course. mind, like you know, maybe this guy like has paid someone or something like uh, that, that that was cool always I know, in my I head. yeah 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 so a- and someone asked me what vis- are you talking about we are talking about rhinoplasty the nose job yeah go ahead sorry yeah so when i visited dr rajat it, it was he, uh, it was something different like any time i visited someone they wanted me to stay so they would be like oh reassuring you reassuring you and like just going like lulling you into a sense of like i didn't reassure i didn't reassure you you mean yeah. to say <laughs> Yeah, yeah. No, like you did reassure me, but there was like a certain confidence that a lot of people don't show. They think it will scare like people away. You were like, uh, do you, I am your doctor. Like, I am your doctor. We are not talking about A for words. You'll definitely get this and I'm your doctor and that's it. And I really like that confidence because, you know, you knew what you were talking about. And I like that. So I'm very yeah, blunt, I, you know. I, you know it. I'm very blunt. I yeah, tell, yeah. I tell what will happen, what will not happen, what we can improve, what we cannot improve. Yeah, yeah. You, you were completely realistic about what can be done, and fortunately, it was in line with what I was looking for. So yeah, I am completely satisfied with uh, the procedure I got. I am really happy with it. And I, I would say, whenever you want to get something done, just try and research as much as you can. uh that's how i found out absolutely check for the qualifications the person's work and talk to the doctor see who you become comfortable with who you become uh, who you vibe with someone is asking how long was the surgery for uh so typically rhinoplasty i do not take more than one and a half hours maximum is 2 hours but i remember for lakshay i think we took around an hour hi aisha how are you so uh, around an hour we took for his surgery and especially because this is commendable i think i'm proud of the work because it's for a redo surgery uh at the same time lakshay you see a lot of people think when we go go for a nose job some actors went and it looks unnatural what i always insisted to give you a natural look right no if you meet someone if you go to a a, a party or or a next door neighborhood gathering nobody is going to tell you oh lakshay it looks like you have got a nose job or rhinoplasty and that's what yeah. i think is the most important thing if it shows it's fake uh, it? and i would actually i would oh, actually yeah. make the point that if if it if it looks unnatural like in my case you know that hump and that uh like deviation in the septum it always looked unnatural to me and i, I would just say like whatever looks natural if you think about it if i never got that injury it would look natural but it didn't look natural when it was uh that way so I, i just say go and get stuff fixed if you want to that's that's what i did and okay. i'm happy with so this so tell us tell us about your recovery how long was the splain how was the pack nasal pack you had any difficulty in breathing just take us audience about about your recovery because uh, they would like to hear from you well it it was a week uh, no the uh i i think my nose was completely covered for about 2 days so those were a bit un- un- uncomfortable but then again there's no alternative so you have to go through that but uh, my splint was uh, around for a week so i had yeah. to keep that on and that's just for like your protection you know you don't want to like injure yourself while you're sleeping or you don't want to injure any it pain, by any pain you had pain no uh, people no, are having no. pain no with the with the medication i was on i didn't have any pain uh it was pretty effort, effortless like i didn't i i went to sleep i woke up for like a week and that was all the work i had to put in uh there was no pain at all so yeah so that's important point because a lot of people are apprehensive about pain after rhinoplasty and mr lakshay even though he had a redo surgery 
which is all the more difficult and all the more fibrosis and all the more swelling he didn't have any pain and that's why i always tell my patients that after rhinoplasty you not have any pain of course swelling is swelling and bruising is part and parcel of it but there won't be any pain so lakshya a lot of people think that getting uh, any problem in eating or breathing someone is asking i think you got cut off there for a second okay uh someone is asking that any problem in eating or breathing you had well for for the first first or second day like your nose has to uh, is so swollen after the procedure that you yeah. have uh, that there's some like i think pressure differences in your head so that's something you're like you'll have to go with but uh, yeah. the thing in that Uh, in that scenario is with dr rajat you may be experience it for like a day or two or uh, like in my other experience i had to go through that for like a week and breathing was normal after like the third or the fourth day so it was yeah. completely normal afterwards uh, didn't have any problems so any issues with eating yeah no no issues i i was eating fine i, I was i hope you like the food at the hospital we make sure that our patients get good food though it was good yeah i i had uh, healthy food i had porridge i had omelets so that was e- uh, easy on my throat because uh, it was a bit sore after the uh, procedure but yeah no problems okay now a lot of people keep thinking about cosmetic surgery but they are apprehensive that it's for our own vanity how important it is for your one's own self one's own confidence well i i would say it's more about what you're willing to do for yourself or not like in my case i always kind of felt cheated by that one injury like if if you think about it your confidence is just take, taken away by that one instance in your life and then you know you're you just left with this feeling like oh what it could have been and mm. I, i'm i'm always a go and do it guy like if i don't like it i'll go and get it done but so why not you, why not these things can be yeah. fixed easily these days without any complications why not yeah and, and i was particularly adamant about just you know doing whatever i wanted like i i didn't want to like you know have difficulties breathing anymore and you know that was always looming over my head like i got this procedure done and you know like there'll always be people who just like end up assuming like you don't love yourself or, or something like that and i and i say like in fact like, it's the other way around yeah i i would just say like let's assume you love your parents right you, you would get them stuff like not giving someone you love something or like giving them something they want and if you love yourself if you will probably want the best version of you out there exactly and exactly i think uh i think it's the ultimate love you can do with your own body that you can do something to improve it a lot of people spend lots of money on clothes on watches on 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 what all things but these are materialistic thing if you can improve the body which god has given you nothing like it isn't it sure sure yeah definitely so um great any message you want to give to our team to our audiences who are here uh before we wind up this session well i i would just say that you know you only have one life and if you want to sit around and sulk and like be tied up in uh, preconceived notions by society you know that's that's what you want to do but if you are ever willing to like step into those shoes where you can be the best best version of yourself i can uh say with confidence that rock, uh, dr rajat will have uh you in his great and excellent and dexterous hands and will give you the best version you can be uh he has a professional staff uh that has helped me throughout the whole process uh never did i ever feel that you know in the end it, i'm going to regret it and in the in the end of the day i think that's what matters if you regret your uh, decisions or not and i don't yeah so thank you for doing this lakshay i enjoyed this we had few questions as well um uh, we had uh, if any people want to ask they can write into us or me and connect with lakshay on instagram 
um i'm sure he'll will be able to tell uh, about his experience and guide someone who is contemplating rhinoplasty or nose job so see you around lakshya after a couple of months for your follow visit in my office and it was lovely catching you on this sunday evening see you doc see you bye bye take care